Hey, hi, and hello. Today I'm going to show you how I created this effect of sci-fi panels. This is just a normal plane which uses different textures for well, one for the, the color, the, the actual panel you see, and one for the light. And you can use anything like a number or the Unity logo. Where was it? This one. You can also change the uh, alpha threshold. You can change how much distortion the normal map does to the light. You can change how much parallax you want. You can change the tiling, the size of the light starting color and how much random coloring you want and how much emission so let's just um, jump into it this is our nice graph let's start by looking at the parallax parallax is straightforward you get the view direction put it in tangent space uh, split put the x and y into vector 2 divided by the z and you can use this for any type of parallax uh, you can just multiply it by a parameter and use that as the uv um, ah, sorry after adding it to the uv so this is the offset of your uv which is going to be doing this um, kind of cheap parallax effect now we are going to add that into um, the tiling so we're gonna get the parameter for tiling the light uh, it's gonna be connected to tiling offset get the fraction so that we don't get re repetition uh, inside of each cell and then uh, I'm doing this subtract by 0 0.5 so that uh, I transform the UV to be uh, in the center of like the, the zero so that I can multiply it by a number to control the size of that texture then I will add that 0 0.5 that I subtracted to offset it back to where it is now this is our tiling we are gonna as well as the UV we're gonna add the parallax offset to that and then we can also add uh, the normal map uh, basically it's just a texture unwrapped or sampled as a normal type uh, connected to a normal strength so that you can change the strength of that and then add it to our UV and parallax etc uh, and this is gonna be our uh, UV for the light texture and I'm using LOD because the normal one seems to create some artifacts on uh, steep angles and stuff so LOD doesn't do that uh, I'm also just plugging this normal strength into our normal tangent uh, here. So, um, after that, uh, let's take a look at the actual texture. This is uh, our panel texture, uh, just unwrapping it normally. You can obviously uh, add tiling and offset to this one. Uh, and then after that I am um, taking this I guess this length doesn't mean anything you can just plug it in here into a step node uh, putting the edge as the alpha threshold parameter so that you can change uh, the transparency of that texture obviously this means that your texture has an alpha what I was doing uh, you can it doesn't look that great but it can work you can plug this into a length node and then use that as the in so that it will kind of uh, make the dark places of the texture to be transparent or show the light basically then after that we are gonna multiply our color by the step so that the alpha places are black and the non-alpha places are you know the texture uh, and then uh, let's see 
here we are doing one minus so that we flip this effect so that the alpha places are one and you can see the alpha places are one and the not alpha are zero so that we can multiply it by our light uh, doesn't show very well here but you can see maybe a little bit so that uh, the alpha places are basically our light texture and the non-alpha are just dark and then we can just add both the normal texture and the light you can see the light here and this is the normal texture and this is going to be our base color uh, and then we are going to just get the um, the light and multiply it by how much emission we want and also multiplying it by our random color I'll, I'll show you in a bit which goes into the emission the random color there are multiple ways you can do this what I did here is um, using the same light tiling parameter to a tiling and offset you get the floor so that you can have a unique seed for each tile use that as the seed for random range and uh, use the random hue amount as the maximum of that and then we are going to connect our base light color into a hue node and the offset is going to be our random range and make sure this is normalized so that it's between 0 and 1 which is going to give you something like this then you multiply uh, the color by whatever we did to the light and it, it's going to give it a tint uh, a different tint for each tile and yeah that's our mission so um, that's it for this tutorial thank you so much for watching and if you like it take a look at my links in the description for my assets uh, that's the only way i get support from you guys so uh, yeah have a nice one